our scholastic students.
according to this, one of our greatest public institutions reeks of socialism. If sharing is socialist, then what does that make the mass sharing of enormous quantity of novels, reference books, CDs, and DVDs? No one will argue with you that libraries are socialist and bad, even if they're the most virulently self proclaimed socialist hater that ever lived. Which doesn't make much sense, considering how socialist the concept of libraries really is. And there's one more aspect that makes Americans socialistic, and it also makes us good people. Service. We have a long-standing tradition of service to others, to our fellow Americans and to our fellow human beings abroad. Many Americans are volunteering in the Peace Corps and for Habitat for Humanity. And of course, we also have many domestic nonprofit organizations, such as the Salvation Army. We're getting involved with our communities at earlier and earlier ages. For example, high school students participate in Interact Club, a student organization dedicated to community service. And all of our judges, proctors, and coordinators have ensured that academic decathlon runs smoothly, spending their time on it. A fact for which numerous coaches and hundreds of decathletes are extremely grateful. We all honor our volunteers without stopping to consider how uncapitalistic their actions are and how it's their socialistic characteristics that make us grateful to them. Socialism is not as bad of an ideology as is commonly believed. We are all socialists in one way or another. So the next time your heart warms at the sight of young children sharing, thank a kindergarten teacher for being a socialist. When a librarian helps you find that book you've been looking for forever, thank her for being a socialist. And the next time you pass by another academic decathlon volunteer in the hallway, give them a nice socialist high five.